Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed. I am here once again with a sensational topic as usual. What is a clinical trial? What is a clinical trial? It is one of the most challenging topics for many new students or new researchers. So if you are a beginner and want to learn clinical trials and the concept about clinical trials, then this video is for you. So what is a clinical trial? Clinical trial is one of the study designs. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I have mentioned and discussed the study design pyramid. This looks something like this. On study design pyramid, we have all possible kinds of study designs. That means in the research world, you will have either of these study designs and you will do your research project according to this design that's it. Either you do in vitro research, you do animal research, you do case controls, you, you do cohort, you do clinical clinical trials, or you do systematic reviews or meta-analysis. And if you see on the pyramid, clinical trials are in, are the second best. They are the second best. They are the one of the highest qualities of evidence. They are one of the highest pieces of evidence. They are on the top of the pyramid. And that's why they are very, very famous. They are very popular. And everyone wants to learn the clinical trials. Everyone wants to learn the basic concept of clinical trials. So let's talk about this. What is a clinical trial? In clinical trial, we have a medication. Simple formula. Remember, for beginners, we have a medication. I know we have a diagnostic tool as well. We have vaccines. We'll talk about this. But just for the sake of memory, I'm just telling you, remember in this way. In clinical trials, you have a medication and you have a patient. Yes. Remember, whenever you have the word clinical involved, that means there is a patient involved. There's a patient involved. So you have a patient involved and you have a medication and you will give this medication to the patients. That's how we check the efficacy or we check how powerful this medication is is how beneficial this medication is. We will check this medication by giving this to these patients. That's what a clinical trial is. And the trial word means that it's, it is a test. We are just testing this medication. It is not approved yet to use, especially in the US. It is not yet approved. We are just testing. That's why we will have some phases and we'll discuss those phases in the future videos when I will dig deeper into clinical trial. But right now, just stick with me and just learn the basic concept. That clinical trial is a study design on the study design pyramid. One of the study designs, it's one of the top most pieces of evidence as you can see on the pyramid it is on the top and in this you have patients involved and you have medication in. so you give medication to the patients that's why the clinical trial has three names yes a clinical trial has three names clinical trials interventional study yes because you are doing some intervention number three the third name is experiment Yes, the most common word in research world, experiment. What is an experiment or experimental study? It means that you are giving something to the patient. That means the researcher, you as a researcher are manipulating the environment. Yes, that's what an intervention study is all about. So remember, if somebody ever asks you, what is a clinical trial? You say clinical trial is an interventional study or experimental study, one and the same thing, all three are same. And we as scientists or researchers, we intervene and we manipulate the environment and then we see the after effects of that manipulation. That's what a clinical trial is. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a medication and you have patients. You give this medication to the patients and you see what will happen to these patients in the future after this medication has been given to them. That's called a clinical trial. So actually, just like the cohort studies, you are going into the future. Yes, you are looking at the effects of this medication. That's correct. You are looking at the effects, after effects of this medication. But this medication was given by you. So that's your manipulation. So remember, a clinical trial is is a kind of study design in which you, the researcher, manipulate the environment. In observational studies, you did not manipulate the environment. But here you manipulated the environment. You give that to the patients. And then you looked at the after effects. Now, the interventions can be of different kinds. It could be a medication. As I discussed before, it could be a pill. It could be an IV drug. It could be a vaccine. Yes, it could be just a glass of water. You gave a glass of water to the patient. And now you look at the effects of this water on this patient. It has become manipulation. It has become an intervention. What about exercise? Asking a patient to exercise. Yes, that is also an intervention. So it could be anything. Anytime you ask the patient to do something, and the patient does it and you look at the after effects of that command that is actually a clinical trial it's that simple and clinical trial has three names interventional studies experiment and clinical trial or experimental studies and clinical trials are of two types randomized control trial and non-randomized control trial when we have people when we have two groups control groups and treatment group and we assign the drug randomly not deliberately choosing the patients of our, our own choice but we assign this to the computer to decide who will take the placebo and who will take the standard treatment or who will take the the medication that we have discovered in the lab so that's called randomization so when the randomization is done it is known as randomized clinical trial randomized control trial 
and ideally double blinding. What does that mean? Double blinding means the patients don't know which medication they got and the researcher also doesn't know which medication was given to which patient. You have made such a great system to avoid bias that nobody knows who got it, who got which medication. Otherwise, you could have developed some kind of unconscious, subconscious bias. So to avoid this, you don't let the patient know what medication they are getting. That's single blinding. If you don't let the patient and the researcher both don't know which medication is given to which patient, that's double blinding. And the best kind of evidence is double blinded randomized controlled trial. That's the best form of evidence. Now, if you don't do randomization, then it is known as or non-randomized control trial or non-randomized trial. And in non-randomized, we have another name for this, quasi-experiment, false experiment. Because you did not do randomization, there is a chance of bias. So these are the two types of clinical trials, RCTs and non-RCTs. Randomized control trials are RCTs, non-randomized control trials are NRCTs. And NRCTs, the non-randomized control trial, are also known as quasi-experiment. And the randomized control trial, they just are known as RCTs. And overall, the word clinical research, the clinical trial is also known as interventional study or experimental study or experiment. So just remember this concept. This will help you understand what a clinical trial is. So let me repeat once again quickly so that you don't get confused with the with the information that I have given to you. This is this has been so much of information. I understand. I, I, I really agree with that. And that's why I want to just give a brief summary. So clinical trial is one of the study designs mentioned on the study design pyramid. It means that if you want to do research, this is one of the options you can do. And clinical research, clinical trial, they are actually the same thing most of the time. Clinical research or clinical trial. And clinical trial has multiple names. What other names? Interventional studies, experimental studies, and clinical trials are of two types, randomized and non-randomized. Non-randomized are also known as quasi experiment And now, what do we do in a clinical trial? We give something to the patient. We give something to the patient. What is that something? It could be a medication. It could be a vaccine. It could be just simply giving a glass of water or instruction and the patient does something and you follow up with the patient and see what is the effects of that intervention. So anytime you manipulate the environment, it is a clinical trial or it is an interventional study or it is an experimental study. Now, one last thing. If patients are involved, you call it a clinical trial. If patients are not involved, it is, it is in some other field, then you just call it experimental study or experiment or you just call that as an interventional study but keep the name clinical trial for studies where just patients are involved so i think that's enough of a concept about cl about clinical trial today and we will dig deeper into clinical trials in the next videos thank you keep learning keep watching